85-year-old Eleanor Shevsky is one of about 150,000 patients hospitalized each year with compression fractures of the spine. Like most, she has osteoporosis, and she was in a lot of pain. I picked up a 25-pound box of kitty litter, and it slipped, and I went, and my arm went down and pulled all the muscles in my back. And then I think nothing of it till a couple of days later, I started having back pain all the time. Eleanor Shevsky had suffered a compression fracture of four vertebrae, actually a collapse of bone in the spine. At the Detroit Medical Center's Huron Valley Hospital, she met with interventional radiologist, Dr. Bruce Wolf. The back pain can be so severe and debilitating, patients can't uh, tie their shoes, can't stand up to do the dishes, are stuck in bed, um, any of the above, all the above. Dr. Wolf told Eleanor she was a good candidate for the minimally invasive balloon kyphoplasty procedure. Orthopedic balloons are used to gently elevate the affected bone fragments in the vertebrae in order to return them to the right position. But at her advanced age, Eleanor was concerned about possible paralysis. I wanted to be assured that I'm going to be able to walk for at least five or ten more years at least. He told me there was no fear. He said he'd done it before and there was no fear of any being paralyzed. Dr. Wolf explained that it was an outpatient procedure done under local or general anesthesia. The doctor uses a hollow instrument to create a small pathway into the fractured bone. Beautiful. A small balloon is guided through the instrument into the vertebra. The incision is only about one centimeter long. Next, the balloon is inflated to raise the collapsed vertebra and return it to its normal position. We got awesome inflation on the right. Then, the balloon is deflated and removed, and the cavity is filled with a special cement to support the surrounding bone and prevent collapse. The cement forms an internal cast that holds the vertebra in place. As soon as the patients wake up from their sedation, then we ask them how they're doing, and the overwhelming majority of patients get almost immediate relief or usually within 24 to 36 hours. Their pain is significantly different. For Eleanor, the procedure was a success and she went home the same day with the happy prospect of a future without back pain. Oh yes, I'm very happy about that. For how many years I got to go yet, but at least I like to enjoy them a little bit. Visit us anytime at dmc.org to learn more about minimally invasive balloon kyphoplasty or to make an appointment with Dr. Bruce Wolf and the fine team at Huron Valley Sinai Hospital. The DMC, we just think it's a better way to get better. I'm Emory King.